I started taking antidepressants when I was around 13 years old and if I were to try to explain how my medication felt in my body, I would use a straight line to represent emotional capacity as a range from depression to ecstasy. When I was taking my medication, it felt as though my emotional capacity was capped at a certain distance from the midline on either side of the spectrum. Yes, I was no longer feeling the extreme degradation of my depression, but I was also unable to feel joy to the extent that I was once able to. However, at the time that I started to take my medication, my depression had become so overbearing that I really wasn't feeling much joy anyway. So the only difference I noticed in the beginning was a lightening of my depressive symptoms. However, eventually I started to really miss and desire to feel the extremely pleasant emotions I was unable to feel on my medication. This video is not to make any statement about the use of antidepressants, I'm sharing this experience to share the lesson that I learned from this experience, which is that we don't get to choose which emotions we feel. We don't get to choose to only feel the quote good emotions and not the quote bad emotions. We can't choose to only feel love and not feel the inevitable heartbreak that comes with love. And not because every single person we love inevitably hurts us in a way that causes us heartbreak, but even missing someone is a form of heartbreak that is the result of love loving someone deeply. The quote good comes with the quote bad. They are intrinsically linked and it's a choice that we all get to make every single day whether we numb ourselves so that we don't have to feel the extremely unpleasant, uncomfortable emotions or whether we open ourselves up to the whole spectrum of emotions, therefore feeling the very uncomfortable emotions, but therefore also feeling the very, very pleasant, joyous emotions. 